We would like to thank you for joining us today to learn about the benefits and services available to you under the Trade Adjustment Assistance, or TAA, program. This presentation will give you an overview of the six key benefits of the program that are here to assist you in your reemployment journey. The TAA program is a federally funded program that assists workers that have lost their jobs due to foreign trade. A petition was filed on behalf of your worker group and sent to the United States Department of Labor for review. Through the United States Department of Labor's review, it was determined that your job was negatively impacted by foreign trade, making you eligible to apply for the benefits of the TAA program. Please keep in mind that you must have lost your job due to no fault of your own to access these benefits. If you are terminated or quit, these benefits and services may be placed at risk. There are six key benefits of the TA program that will be discussed more in depth through this presentation. The first benefit is training. Training can be from a short-term certification all the way to advanced professional degrees and includes employer-based training such as apprenticeships and on-the-job training. The second benefit is called TRA or Trade Readjustment Allowance. This is income support, much like unemployment insurance, which can last for up to a total of 130 weeks for workers who engage in the TAA training benefit. The third and fourth benefits are job search and relocation allowance. Job search and relocation allowances reimburse workers up to 90% of their costs to travel to look for work or relocate for new employment. The fifth benefit RTAA, or Reemployment Trade Adjustment and Assistance, is a wage subsidy for workers age 50 and older who accept employment making less than their separation wage from the trade-affected employer. The sixth benefit is called HCTC, or Health Coverage Tax Credit. HCTC is administered by the IRS and covers 72.5% of an individual's monthly health care premiums, if a participant in the TA program and in qualified health care plan. Now that we have an overview of the benefits, let's take a deeper look into each individual benefit and service that the TA program has to offer. Please keep in mind that if you have been certified for the TAA program, you are entitled to apply for all benefits within the program. We will first cover the training benefit. Each worker is eligible to apply for up to one training plan per TAA certification. However, there may be instances that multiple programs are bundled into one training plan. What this means is that once you elect a training program and you complete the program, you cannot submit a second application for a separate training program. TAA pays 100% of your training costs. This includes all of your tuition, books, fees, required tools and supplies, and any required items needed to complete the training program. Your training plan must be completed within a maximum of 130 training weeks, not calendar weeks. The 130 weeks will only count weeks that are physically in training. The 130 weeks equals about two and a half years of training. All of the benefits of the TA program have application deadlines. However, the training benefit is the one exception. This benefit is considered a lifetime benefit, which means that you can apply for the training benefit as long as the TAA program is signed into law. There are various types of training available. Your training can be conducted in a classroom setting for degree programs and technical certifications, for distance education, such as online coursework, or employer-based training like on-the-job training or OJT. On-the-job training is when an employer hires you, agrees to train you, and the TAA program will reimburse the employer 50% of your wages while you are being trained. This is a great option if you need to get back to work as soon as possible and have a skills gap that an employer can train. TAA also supports adult education to assist you in obtaining your high school equivalency, increase your basic skills for college entrance, as well as support English language learning courses. 
You may attend training on a full-time, part-time, or pre-separation basis. The TAA program does not define full-time. This is left up to the individual training provider. This is something you want to find out when you research training providers because while training is available part-time, if you elect to attend training part-time, the TRA income support benefits that we will talk about next will not be available. Pre-separation training is also available. This means that if you are still working at your TAA certified employer, you can begin your TAA training plan prior to layoff. This is only available if you are under threat of layoff. So you will want to work with your Trade Act representative very closely to monitor your individual circumstance. If you are required to travel outside of your commuting area, which in Missouri is 10 miles one way, to attend training, your transportation costs may also be included in your training. Additionally, subsistence funds are available if you are required to set up temporary housing outside of your commuting area while participating in TAA-approved training. Finally, your TAA training plan must meet the six approval criteria for training. The six approval criteria of training are Criteria 1. No suitable employment available to the worker. When reviewing this criteria, we look at your separation wages, past experience, past education, and try to determine what is the likelihood that you will be able to gain similar employment within your commuting area, making the same wage you were making at your previous employment. Criteria 2. The worker would benefit from appropriate training. This criteria means that we want to make sure the degree, certification, or skills requirement that you will earn at the end of your training meets the market needs for your career. For example, if you want to go to school to obtain your HVAC certification, local employers that hire HVAC technicians must require at a minimum the level of education that you have received through your TAA training. Criteria 3. Reasonable expectation of employment following the completion of training. The goal of the TAA program is to get you back to work at the highest possible wage. Our goal is to make sure that when you complete training, you are able to obtain employment in a suitable and sustainable job. To do this, we use labor market information or LMI. Through LMI, we can determine what careers are growing and meet your wage and educational needs. Criteria four, training is approved by the Secretary of Labor or the United States Department of Labor and is reasonably available to the worker. For this criteria to be approved by the Secretary of Labor, the training provider must be established institution that will offer a credential that meets the market need. Training that is reasonably available to the worker means that the training provider should be within your commuting area or 10 miles from your home. When there is no suitable training within 10 miles from your home, transportation or subsistence cost may be considered as part of your training plan. Criteria 5. The worker is qualified to undertake and successfully complete the training. Your Trade Act representative will work with you through assessments that determine your basic skills needs. These are not tests, and there is no pass or fail. We want to make sure that you have the skills to be successful, and if you need remedial courses built in to strengthen your skills, we can include it into your training plan. Also, while researching careers, be aware of the physical requirements of the jobs. For example, if you have issues with your back and cannot lift over 50 pounds, a career in nursing or truck driving may not be the best fit. Criteria 6. Training is suitable for the worker and available at a reasonable cost. Reasonable cost does not necessarily mean the cheapest school. When you research training providers, we want to make sure you receive a quality education at the most reasonable price. Reasonable cost considers not only the financial cost of the training, but takes into consideration the quality, content of the program, graduation rates, placement rates, and length of training. We understand that this can be very overwhelming. 
Please know that our Trade Act representatives are here to guide you through the process and assist you in developing a training plan to meet the criteria and support your reemployment goals. The second benefit of the TAA program is called Trade Readjustment Allowance or TRA. TRA is income support that is paid much like unemployment insurance. When unemployment insurance and TRA are combined, it allows for a total of up to 130 weeks of income support. In order to be eligible for TRA, you must be actively engaged in full-time training or on a waiver from training. The waiver is used to extend your deadline so that you can apply for training. Under most circumstances, if you do not pursue or intend to pursue training before TRA deadline, you would not be eligible for TRA income support. Additionally, eligibility requirements include that you must have worked at least 26 weeks within the previous 52 weeks prior to layoff and earned at least $30 or more in each of those weeks. Essentially, if you take your separation date and go back one year, you must have worked at least six months of that one year period and earned at least $30 in each week within that past six month period. TRA also pays like an extension of unemployment insurance. In order to draw TRA benefits, you must first exhaust your unemployment insurance claim. As I stated earlier, all TAA benefits have an application deadline. TRA is the strictest deadline and therefore is one of the most important deadlines to remember. At the beginning of this presentation, you are provided with the company name, the TAA petition number, and the certification date. Most deadlines with a program are based on your TAA certification date or separation date. The deadline to be enrolled in full-time training or be issued a waiver from training to be eligible to receive TRA benefits is 26 weeks from the TAA certification date listed at the beginning of this presentation or 26 weeks from your separation or layoff date whichever date occurs last. This deadline is very important and likely has one of the biggest monetary payouts of the TAA program. Therefore, it is vital that you engage with your local Trade Act representative as soon as possible to apply for training or determine if you need a waiver from training. While TRA benefits pay up to a maximum of 130 weeks, it is important to understand that you will likely not have 130 weeks of income support when you start school. If you begin receiving unemployment insurance prior to starting your training, your 130 weeks of income support will have already started. You are encouraged to discuss this with your Trade Act representative to plan for a training program that best fits your income needs. The third benefit of the TAA program is job search allowance. Job search allowance reimburses 90% of all allowable costs to travel outside of your commuting area, 10 miles one way, to participate in a job search activity. An example of a job search activity is meeting an employer that could result in suitable employment such as a job interview or job fair. This would be for any job search activity over 10 miles from your home anywhere in the United States. The job search allowance reimburses up to a maximum of $1,250. Individuals may have multiple applications for this allowance until the $1,250 is exhausted or the deadline expires. Allowable expenses may include mileage, per diem or lodging, tolls, airfare, and more. The deadline to apply for job search allowance is 365 days from your TAA certification date listed at the beginning of this presentation or 365 days from your separation or layoff date, whichever date occurs last. Individuals who attended training through the TAA program will also have an additional 182 days after the completion of training to apply for this benefit. The fourth benefit of the TA program is relocation allowance. Relocation allowance works much like the job search allowance, except this benefit reimburses 90% of the allowable cost to relocate you 
your family, and all of your belongings if you gain suitable reemployment outside of your commuting area. There is no maximum dollar amount for reimbursement. However, there is a maximum weight limit of 18,000 pounds. Allowable expenses may include moving company, rental or moving truck, mileage per diem, lodging, tolls, 60 days of temporary storage, and more. Relocation allowance includes a lump sum amount of up to $1,250. The relocation allowance benefit is reduced by any relocation costs that are paid for you by your new employer. Therefore, you will need to be sure to provide your offer of employment to your Trade Act representative. The deadline to apply for relocation allowance is 425 days from your TAA certification date listed at the beginning of this presentation or 425 days from your separation or layoff date, whichever date occurs last. Individuals who attend training through the TAA program will also have an additional 182 days after the completion of training to apply for this benefit. Both the job search and relocation allowances require you to request the benefit prior to participation. This means that you let your Trade Act representative know before you go. To request job search allowance prior to participation requires you to complete a form that indicates the date and time of your job search activity and the name and location, city and state of your employer you are meeting with. To request relocation allowance prior to participation requires you to complete a form that indicates the date and location of your move, if you plan to use a moving company or rent a moving truck, you will need to provide estimates from the moving company as well as your offer of suitable employment. The fifth benefit of the TAA program is Reemployment Trade Adjustment Assistance, or RTAA. RTAA is a wage subsidy for workers age 50 or older who gain reemployment making less than their separation wage. RTAA subsidizes 50% of the wage difference up to $10,000 or two years, whichever occurs first. An easy example would be if you made $20 an hour at your separating employment and you gain reemployment making $10 an hour. RTAA would subsidize $5 per hour for full-time employment until the $10,000 or two year time frame was exhausted. To be eligible for RTAA, you must not earn $50,000 a year or more from your new reemployment, and you must apply within two years of your eligibility period start date. RTAA considers all earned wages except overtime in the calculation of your reemployment. Overtime is also excluded from your separation wage calculation. In order to qualify for RTAA, you must be employed full time or in full-time TAA-approved training and working part-time at least 20 hours per week. It is also important to know that if you elect RTAA, you may apply for the training, job search, relocation, and health coverage tax credit benefits under TAA. You may also receive the TRA income support prior to applying for RTAA. However, once you elect RTAA wage subsidy, you cannot return to TRA, and the amount of TRA you receive will reduce the $10,000 maximum and two-year time frame of RTA eligibility. The sixth benefit of TAA is the Health Coverage Tax Credit, or HCTC. HCTC is administered by the IRS and is not administered by the Missouri Job Center or the Office of Workforce Development. The HCTC benefit pays 72.5% of your monthly health care premium if enrolled in a qualified health care plan. This health care benefit may be elected as an end-of-the-year tax credit or as a monthly direct payment to your health care provider. Participants are required to pay 100% of their health care premium until approved by the IRS. To be eligible for the tax credit, you must meet all of the following. Be a participant in the TAA program. This means that you are receiving at minimal 
placement and career services from a Trade Act representative. Secondly, you must be in a compensable status. This means that you are receiving benefit payments from the state of Missouri in the form of unemployment insurance, trade readjustment allowance or TRA income support, or reemployment trade adjustment assistance or RTAA wage subsidy. You must be enrolled in a qualified health care plan. Qualified health care plans are determined by the IRS but do include plans like COBRA, spouse health care plans that pay at least 50% of their monthly premium, or individual plans that are not included in the health care marketplace. You also cannot be enrolled in Medicare or Medicaid. For additional questions regarding HCTC, please contact the IRS at www.irs.gov forward slash HCTC or call 844-853-7210. In addition to the comprehensive benefits of the TAA program, TAA also assists workers with case management services such as assessments to assist you to assess your career interest for a new career as well as assessing your basic reading and math skills. Your Trade Act representative is here to help with career planning, resume and interview assistance, will help you develop employment goals through an individual employment plan, and provide labor market information to research careers. Labor market information can also help you with your training research to determine which jobs are available in your area, wage information, and required experience and education. Your Trade Act representative will also provide you information on training providers, how to apply for additional financial aid, and available supportive services through your community to assist with needs-related payments. Short-term pre-vocational training may also be available through your Missouri Job Center, so be sure to ask what is available in your area. In addition to drawing unemployment insurance or UI and TRA or trade readjustment allowance, you have the ability to work and earn additional funds before your UI or TRA will be reduced. This is known as earnings disregard. For UI, a worker can earn 20% of their UI weekly benefit before their UI payment will be reduced. In the example shown, the worker has a weekly benefit amount of $320. He can earn $64 without reducing his UI weekly benefit amount. If the worker earns $65, his UI weekly benefit amount will be reduced to $319. For TRA, if the worker is participating in full-time TAA-approved training, the worker can earn up to 120% of their TRA weekly benefit before their TRA payment will be reduced. In the example shown, the worker has a weekly benefit amount of $320. She can earn $384 without reducing her TRA weekly benefit amount. If the worker earns $385, her TRA weekly benefit amount will be reduced to $319. Under the Trade Act program, the Trade Act representative at the Missouri Job Center or a representative from the Missouri Division of Employment Security may issue a written denial of a benefit or service. All denials have appeals rights. This means that if you, as a worker, disagree with the denial, you have the opportunity to request an appeals hearing. To request an appeals hearing, you must submit a written request that contains your name, social security number, date, denial you want to appeal, and your signature to the Missouri Division of Employment Security Appeals Tribunal at P.O. Box 59, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65104, or it can be faxed to 573-751-1321.
Your Trade Act representative at the Missouri Job Center may also submit the request on your behalf. We also want you to be aware of fraud. Fraud is committing an intentional act to gain financially. If you are caught committing fraud, you will not be eligible for any further TAA or TRA benefits or services under the current TAA petition or any future TAA petitions. In addition, you may incur an overpayment. The links below provide additional information on the TAA program and how to contact your local Missouri Job Center. We would like to thank you for taking the time to review the benefits of the TAA program. We understand that this is a challenging time in your life and the TAA program is packed with a lot of information. Please do not worry. We are here to help. Please know that we are standing by to assist you and encourage everyone to reach out to his or her local Missouri Job Center representative as soon as possible to apply for the TAA program. Please note that the Missouri Office of Workforce Development is an equal opportunity employer program. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Missouri Relay Services at 711.